ladies and gentlemen, victory! <laughs> Ice cream goodness, the first 99 of 2021. The first of many, ladies and gentlemen. It tastes delicious. The first, we've got different ones because the first place they went to, the ice cream machine broke. So Holly and Daniel had to go to another ice cream place and it melted all over Daniel's car. This is I'm my campaign sure. promise. My campaign, I will ice cream Can we please give everyone. it up for Holly and Daniel? Come on. Well done. So, uh, now well it's, done. Now it's Friday night. Can we, can we just restart the show now? It's Friday then. Yeah, it's it's Saturday. 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 Now, we're having food. Eric as well. Erica, Erica, Erica how, how are you going to, to cook? How are you no, going to do huevos rancheros? I'm, with... I'm supposed to be going on holidays tomorrow. I'm starting it today. Seriously. Oh, is that That's it? Great, yeah. <laughs> no, co no food. That's oh my God, I'm so good. Okay. Not good with red lipstick. How am I doing? You're doing good. It's Thank perfect. You. Um, okay, guys, we're making huevos rancheros. Very, 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 well, maybe not easy, posh eggs, as you're calling them. Yeah. First thing we're going to do is make a salsa ranchero, which is boiled chilies, tomatoes, and onion, and garlic. And then you blitz them all. It's quite straightforward. You take the skin off your onion. That's what I was supposed to be doing during the break. Instead of eating oh, okay. an ice cream. Instead of eating a 99. Okay. Or a 499, as they're called these days. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, <clears throat> So that's it. Basically, pop your onions in. You're going to boil them for about 10 minutes. You know me, I love my garlic. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put it in about four cloves there. Okay. Some fresh tomatoes. I've given those a little rinse. They're going into the boiling water. Just be careful. And some jalapenos. It's up to you how hot you want to do it. I'm going to put in two. And then that's it. If you want to use the normal chilies that you can get, if you can't get jalapenos, that's fine. Every household is going to be different on how spicy they yeah. want it to be. We're all you know, different tolerances and yeah. traditionally this would obviously have loads and be quite spicy. And you're just throwing them in whole, you're not chopping them right No, there. that's that's why I think it is an easy dish. It's yeah. an easy salsa to make. This is perfect to dip your, your um, you know, your tacos, your tortillas in, your nachos, whatever you want to do oh. as well. Okay, so once that boils after about 10 minutes, I just strain it. Like some people take the little cores off. You could take the stalks off. But that's about as far as I go. Yeah. And I'll blitz it with one of these fellas. Okay. Soup gun or if you have oh, perfect. a right. food processor and you get that kind of texture. If you want to leave it a bit chunkier, you can. I like that texture. Okay, so you do all this and basically we need eggs as well, right? Yeah, we need eggs. So I'm going to add in eggs and I'm going to add in tortillas. We could do... Um, a fa like a, a bean mixture, like what do we call them? Refried beans, refried beans. Okay. So basically that's all blitzed together and I've par cooked those beans. You could do a can of beans, fry that together. That's a little extra, not 100% okay. necessary. So here we're gonna fry our tortillas. I got these lovely so soft corn tortillas. Have you used those before? Yeah, They're yeah you get them different anywhere. To, yeah, you can get them nowadays. We are starting to get them. Yeah. And like they're absolutely delicious. If you smell them, they're really gorgeous and corn flavor as opposed to the flour ones. But if you put them in a pan, and it's the same with the flour ones, think about it, they're in a packet for ages. Put them in a pan and let the flavours come out. Now, I wish this pan was a bit hotter. I'm going to move this over here, because we are under time pressure, right? So basically, we fry those. <laughs> sorry, the ice creams have taken it's over. It's okay. I'm so sorry. Can I just have another lick of wine then while we're doing it? Go for it. Go for it. We're, while we're, we're waiting for these, dish. we're not going to get it. Dish done in time. We are, we are. Come on, guys. Have hope. So you wouldn't usually do this, but we're going to crack the egg in as well. Oh, right. Okay. Now, some people will put the sauce in your pan and crack the egg. No, I'm to I've totally... Yeah, it's not really... What? Sorry, guys. What's wrong? With I'm just... I'm, I'm afraid because of the time we would usually fry the eggs, flip the tortilla and get a little bit of crispiness. Okay. Okay. You this can just talk people going. through what they need to do. It's fine. Okay. It's our fault. These are, yeah, it's the, it's, the, it's the ice cream's fault. These are refried beans. There's something that we all think you can only get in a restaurant. You can do it at home. It's got garlic, it's got onions. Just while I'm uh, frying those, that pan's being a brat on me. And basically, onion, garlic, right? Looks Thanks gorgeous, creamy. I'm gonna put these, see them kind of bubbly. You can mush them with the back of your spoon if you want. Okay. And just do a spoonful of these on your plate as well. It's kind of like a platter of, of bits, do you know? Yeah. And then, you know me guys, more cheese. So we're gonna put a little bit of, usually it'd be queso fresh though, fresca, which is a fresh cheese. Okay. And then a little bit of our hot sauce. So that's our salsa. It is gonna be spicy, be careful with the kids. And then we're just about getting eggs that's ready. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's all we're good. good. We've got some time. We've got a couple of minutes. Um, 
So the tortillas, as I said, much nicer when you give them a little bit of butter, a little bit of oil, yeah. something to kind of get the flavor of that corn going. And there's, yeah, I've put butter all over them here. And the eggs are gonna be plain. Would you want them that buttery? That's butter. Yeah, all butter. Lots of butter. Yeah. No, it's not traditionally Mexican, obviously, but they'd use a vegetable oil or something. I just, sometimes they'd use bacon fat or serve this with bacon as well on the side. So, we're just gonna put our now somewhat scrambled hey. eggs on the top. There we go. Preferred eggs. And some of us love jalapenos that have been pickled. You know the ones in the the jar? Yeah. So you can put those on top as well. Now they are a bit spicy. Um, be careful. This is gonna wake kids. you up on a Sunday morning if you're doing this for your dad. This is your posh eggs. Yeah. And it's kind of like, it's supposed to be like this. I'm glad I got it finished, because it is supposed to be that kind of rustic style. You could do a full platter for the whole family and they dig in bits that they like, if they want the avocado, if they want the, the beans or the eggs and the tortillas. And of you course the salsa. Uh, can you tell us about the salsa? Just very quickly go through it again. It's boiled, the tomato, the chili, the onions and the garlic. And then- And blitz it after. Blitz it after. That's it. Boil them all up. Who please give it up for Eric a drum? Thank you. Have your ice cream. Happy holidays. Thank you. Happy holidays, <laughs> babe.